One of them, though, was an intercepted pass on the last play of the half. That one was inconsequential. The other was a fumble by Joe Washington. I think one of the things you have to remember, too, is the 49ers, they've only had six first downs or whatever, but but they have had some things open, and they just missed them. And sometimes, you know, you can come back in the second half and maybe hit some of those things, and we have a different game. Dana McLemore returning Jeff Hayes kickoff and gets nailed at about the 26-yard line by Larry Kubin. Really hammered Pete Cronin over there to help out. Oh, Pete Cronin, he's a special teams guy. He's, you know, he would be one of the hogs if they'd let him in. I'll tell you, that guy is all over the field, that Pete Cronin on special teams. He doesn't play any at linebacker, but he's on all those special teams. He's one of those wild type of guys. You know? More and more important they become, it seems, the special teams guy. That's Solomon in motion, and Montana goes back to throw on first down. Redskins blitz. They have Russ Francis open. Taken down by Coffee, but it's a 49er first down. Bill Walsh said in our conversation last night that maybe we haven't been getting the ball to our tight end as much as we should. Well, I think that in the combination, you know, of losing his, his top wide receiver, uh, Dwight Clark, I, I think that probably brings some of that in, too, that, you know, you lose it, Dwight Clark, you put in Mike Wilson, but other guys can compensate for Clark, and Francis may be one of the guys. Francis just limped off the side of the field, might be shaken up just a little bit. Ready Solomon out wide left. They get the ball to Solomon. Solomon loses it, but he's out of bounds. Ken Coffey again on the stop. 49ers got about five. Here comes Russ Francis back. That was an interesting thing, that last play, that first down play, and one of the things that has to surprise the Redskins, along with this type of thing, no huddle here, is using three wide receivers on first down. No huddle. Solomon dives for Montana's throw and can't come up with it. The first down play, uh, uh, they had the three wide receivers, and on the second down play, they had the three wide receivers with Freddie Solomon in the backfield. So they want to get their three wide receivers in when the Redskins don't have their nickel defense in. 49ers had 117 pass plays in their game plan for this game. And Joe Montana says, you wonder why I'm staying in my room these last two days and studying? was the man in motion, and Montana goes over the middle. This time it's Wendell Tyler, and he can't come up with it. Is it complete or incomplete? I think he caught it, fumbled it, recovered it. I think they're going to give it to him. Mark Murphy's saying no, but it looked like to me that it could have been a catch, a fumble, and a recovery. It, it is. is. Right. 17 yards and a 49er first down. Let's watch it. They say that this was a catch. He had control. He got hit. He fumbled, and now he gets up. Mark Murphy's going for it, but Wendell Tyler gets it. So it was a catch, a fumble, and a recovery. The Redskins don't necessarily agree with that call. That's Solomon in motion out of the backfield. The pitch is back to Roger Craig. Craig hammered by Coffey again. He got only a couple. I don't know if I agree with it either. I don't know if he had control of that. Well, let's check it out again. Well, we'll look at it. Here he is right here. Now, he has it up now. He didn't have control of it. He was bringing the ball down when he got hit. That should have been an incomplete pass. Now, he didn't have control because they had one like that in the first half, and they said it was incomplete because he didn't have control of it. That was a bad call. I agree. Second and ten. That's Francis who started in motion. Now he stays in the block. Montana goes outside to Tyler. Tyler is hit out of bounds hard by Marty Coleman. Really hammered, but that should be enough for a first down. I'll tell you one thing about the 49ers. I think there's a flag on the play, too, here, Pat. There is. That's a sign for pushing by the offense. It would be the opposite of defensive holding or pushing. So that meant that the receiver went down and pushed off a defender. It could be a pick as well. Well, it could have been with Craig and Tyler in there because they were both That's in there. Number 33, offense, 
Second down. Right, it was Roger Craig because he was right there at the end. You see him, he's on the linebacker right there on the left. And they say that right there that he was pushing off. I don't know that he did either. I, I think they're starting to see things out here. I don't know that they're there. That's Ethan Ransom, number 80. Montana with a pass fake, gets it outside. That's Earl Cooper, who was a fullback in previous years, of course. He was a fullback on the Super Bowl champion 49ers of two years ago. Now he's a tight end. He got 11 yards. He's a good runner. You know, they haven't used Cooper much this year. And I don't know. I was watching practice the other day on Thursday, and they were working some deep stuff and trying to get Cooper some plays. I wouldn't be surprised if somewhere in the second half they come up with some type of surprise play to Cooper. Had too many tight ends in there. Francis went out. Cooper stayed in. from the Redskin 37 Montana up into the pocket throws incomplete or caught now on the knees by Mike Wilson but short of a first down yeah that's one of those plays if it's third down and you're going to throw it you have to throw it up beyond the first down marker that doesn't do anyone any good except maybe it got a few more yards for the field goal kicker and the field goal kicker Ray Worshing is in now He'll go from about 50 yards with Montana holding. I bet he doesn't look up this time. See, he has his hands on Montana, just looking down. Oh, he didn't. He didn't look up that time. Line drive kick is nowhere near good. I think Ray Worsham slipped on that play as he went up to kick it. You know, that's the thing, that middle of the field is very soft. Let's see if we can see it. Now, the important foot on this kicker is his left foot. That's his plant foot. Now, watch as he brings his left foot up here. You see it starts to slide, and it just collapses, and he just goes right down. Didn't have a chance. And he collapsed. That's where they put all time. the time. Celtics with the Bucks. The Celtics with not many fond memories of last year's playoffs. Seven nothing here at RFK Stadium. Redskins leading the 49ers. And operating from their own 33. Feisman will throw on first down out to Brown. Charlie Brown hustles out of bounds. That's that same type of play that they did before. You know, everyone is so conscious of Riggins that they fake Riggins to the inside and then just boom, just pop it out here to Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown sat out the end of the Ram game last week with a twinge in the hamstring. That's a coach's word for you hope he's not bad. <laughs> so you never, yeah, he has a little twin, yeah, he has a little knee, a little ankle. That means you hope he can play the next week. Short yardage, Riggins gets the call. And Riggins gets the first down. Pete Kugler over to lead the 49er defense again, and he's done a whale of a job against Bostick. He really has. You know, the, the big thing that Kugler's doing is getting his hands on Bostic's shoulders. Watch him. You see? You see him right there? You see, he gets him there. He gets his hands up underneath, just grabs him, just throws those shoulder pads off, and comes right down the line. You know, a lot of guys have to have good hands, but nose tackles do, too. To get those hands quickly, boom, right up there, butt, off, and then down the line. Boom, get those hogs in there. Riggins got the first down, and Theismann goes to work on first down again. This time it's to Walker. Walker is taken down by Carlton Williamson. But Rick Walker gets an 11-yard gain and gets another Redskin first down. You know, the thing we talked about at halftime will be interesting now is these guys, the Redskins, just kind of wear you down. And they aren't as good in the first quarter, the second quarter, as they are in the third quarter and the fourth quarter. They get better offensively as the game goes on. Monk comes out to the left. Charlie Brown is foot wide to the right. That's Walker who moves up on the flank and leaves Riggins as the lone setback. Riggins is going to throw the option pass. Has Charlie Brown, and Brown comes up with the catch. Ronnie Locke back there with him. But Riggins. 
for a 36 yard gain. Who would ever think a hog would throw a football, man? No wonder Charlie Brown was open. Let's see if we can draw that one up. Yeah, this is what a coach likes to do. Here's Riggins. Again, now he's going to fake and start like it's a counter play. They'll get the lineman pulling. Now that brings the defense up. He's going to stop out here and throw that thing. Look, who would expect a hog to throw a ball? Watch this. Little fake. See the guard to tackle pull? He starts out there. The linebackers are up. He stops and flings that thing out to Charlie Brown. Man, a hog to a fun buncher. Why a hog would... to a smurf, I mean. Why would you expect a hog to throw it? It's your pigskin. Here's Riggins. Cuts back inside, is hit at about the six. It was first and goal from the nine, and Riggins gets three. Jack Reynolds came up to make the hit. I always thought Riggins, you know, short yardage, goal lines, running in there. Look at the kickers warming up with a cape on. Can you believe that? <laughs> you never did that in your days. But to see Riggins throw a pass, that had to shock the heck out of that 49er defense. He'll carry the ball down here. Brown made a heck of a catch. It's second down. Riggins will get the call again. Don Warren, the good blocking tight end of the Redskins, jumps. And they'll walk it off, and Riggins may not get it now. Well, I'll tell you, that upsets the coach. When you get down there in the goal line and someone jumps, I'll guarantee you, Joe Gibbs, he's saying, why? he do that? Okay, let's call this. You know, we talked about the fake. We talked about the lineman. We talked about Riggins, but watch the catch. You see Charlie Brown? He just lulled Ronnie Lott to sleep. He just came off the line slow, and then Lott looked in the backfield, sneaked a peek. He saw those, those linemen pull and Riggins. He comes up. Boom. Charlie Brown just went right by him. They're back at the 11 now on second down. I've been back to throw the 49ers blitz. They had Theismann, he got away, and now they get him. Back at the 25, Keena Turner, Fred Dean, and Stuckey also there. I'll tell you, that was a bad move by the Redskin offense when Don Warren jumped offside. Good defense on that play by the 49ers. Once you get him down there, once you get him down there, you want to knock him out of field goal. Now here comes Keena. Keena Keena Turner, Riggins missed him, and he got in and made the tackle. Keena Turner. Stucky and Dean finally got him down, and Joe Washington comes into the game. Jet Quinto in motion. Thigh's been back to throw now on third down. Looking to the outside for Washington, has him. Wright Hicks wraps him up, and we'll have Mosley again. He will not try the field goal with the cape on. Well, one thing I've noticed in this game are a couple things. One, is it's a very physical game and two both teams seem a little tight I know you know it's a championship game but things aren't just moving smoothly Mosley this time from 38 yards out with Neisman holding Mosley no good again misses to the right that's over three for Mosley today. Bad day for kickers. He's missed from 45, 34, and 38. Worshing has also missed twice from 50 and 55. Let's see if we can figure out what's wrong. Now they get the same reactions right there. I don't know why kickers have to wear gloves, but Mosley knew the minute he kicked that ball, it was no good. You see him? Yep. Head down, chin strap off. Look at Joe Gibbs. He's he's moving that way. Oh no! But lips get a little tight. Rose says, "I can't." Believe That's what Lot saw. No, Charlie Brown ran right by him. Look at the effect. Now watch Lot out here. You see, he's looking in the backfield. See, he sees the garden tackle pull and Reagan, and he goes, "Whoa! I read the wrong thing on that baby." That was Dwight Hicks back there with him, but again, Charlie Brown made a heck of a catch. Solomon now for the 49ers comes out wide to the right. Mike Wilson to the left. First down, San Francisco at their own 20. Montana back to work four. Gets it outside to Roger Craig. Has a blocker in front. Craig has a 49er first down outside the 30. Ken Coffey finally nailed him. A pickup of 12. Who made a good block on that play was Wendell Tyler. 
and he allowed Craig to get a few more yards. He looked like a guard out there in front of Craig blocking on that play. Forty-niner first down. Jeff Moore comes in. It's at the 33. Tyler shaken up a little bit after that block. Overall, John Madden, RFK Stadium, 7-0, NFC Championship game. Redskins lead. Moore in motion. Montana back. Wilson open and has it. Now drops it. Incomplete. Anthony Washington back there with him. Wilson was open, did have it, and then dropped it. You know, it's an interesting thing. Bill Walsh was talking about that. He said, you know, I've been studying this defense. He said, we'll get guys open. He said, and when we do get open, we just have to catch the ball. Of course, Mike Wilson just dropped that thing. You got to catch those. Woo. Wilson checking out those gloves. Well, checking them out, he ought to take them off. There on the sideline on the crutches is Dwight Clark. 49 his leading receiver and Montana's favorite target. Here's Montana back to throw again. Gets it outside to Solomon, who loses it. Rich Mullock comes up with the ball, and the Redskins have it. It's a fumble. The Redskins take charge. That's the first San Francisco turnover. Rich Mullock made the recovery. Two bad breaks in a row for the 49ers. First, Mike Wilson drops a pass. Then Freddie Solomon catches one and then fumbles it. There's Daryl Green on him right there. Oh, did he put the hammer on him? Even the Christmas, he went right up around his head and neck, and the ball just popped out of there, and Rich Mallott was there to recover. Watch Daryl Green in that right arm. Oh, that's that's close to being illegal. That's 29 or 36 yard line with 629 left to play. In the third quarter. And I've been on first down goal. has been successful just on first down just throwing a little a little quick pattern out here you see it's a little just a quick hitch he just comes up and stuff this was almost a big play had Art Monk broken that tackle he would have been down that sideline good tackle by Eric Wright or a touchdown saving tackle by Eric Wright first down nevertheless at the 49 23 Here's Riggins to the outside, cutting up field or trying to, and the 49ers shut him down again. Lit by Ricky Ellison. Ricky Ellison was right there. He was just going shoulder to shoulder, just square on him. Well, he's become some story for these 49ers. Drafted became a starter when they had injuries in the inside linebackers, and now he's even in there calling the defenses now. He's become an emotional leader of this team. He's a fired up guy. Look at those eyes. He's ready. Where's Riggins, he said. Now Fred Dean is in for the 49ers. Heisman will throw if he has time. Going deep. Looking. Intended for Monk. There is a penalty flag down. Ronnie Lott was back there with him. It's going to be against Ronnie Lott. That's interference. Number 42, defense, first down. Oh, that's pass interference, so that'll be right where the ball was. Had it been defensive holding, if it was before the ball's in the air, it would have been a five-yard penalty. Here he's saying now the ball's in the air when he hit him right there. It's that right arm. Because the end of the play was okay. He was just going for the ball. He has as much right to the ball as Monk did. I think they caught him throwing that right arm up in there. The Redskins will have it first and goal from the six, and now they shift. Now Riggins will get it. We'll give this to Riggins. And Riggins powers down to the one. Ricky Ellison, again, the tackler. Well, the tough thing for these guys is Riggins is so big, and he's so strong. And now watch Jack Reynolds in there. He's 64. Now, the first thing you have to do is take on a blocker. You see, he has to take on a 290-pound Russ Grimm. Now, when you finally get off Grimm, here comes Riggins, and he weighs 240. That's a double dipper. That's a tough double dipper. 
Otis Wansley in the backfield with Riggins now, but he won't carry it. It'll be 44. Riggins doesn't get in. They stop him at about the half yard mark. Jim Stuckey in the bottom of the pile. Well, this is what they paid John Riggins so much for, and I think he's the best in the game at it. You know, at short yardage and goal line. Because one thing, on the goal line, he gives them touchdowns, and in short yardage, he buys them four more down. They'll give it to Riggins again, and somehow he'll probably plow in there behind the left side of the line. Heisman brings him up. The ball at the one, third and goal. Riggins again. Second of the day. Big John in there behind that big offensive line. Mosley with nice but holding will try to make it 14 nothing. touchdown play again. He only has a yard to go. Watch all those guys. The red jerseys, the white jerseys, everyone down in there. Wansley, Wansley leading. Riggins just stuck the ball out there. You see that? He put the ball out there in front because the touchdown is the ball breaking the plane of the goal line. Watch Riggins as he jumps here. He puts the ball out in front of him so that the ball will break that plane. Look at Kugler here. Here's Pete Kugler, the defensive guy. Look, you can see him looking <laughs> between his man's leg. He says, where's Riggins? Let me see his feet. I'm going to go where he goes. There he goes. He's going down that way. I'm going to get low. Stay low. I got to It's now Washington 14, San Francisco. 345 in the third quarter. Redskins shifting around as Jeff Hayes looks off, and it's Dana McLemore fielding at his own six-yard line. Headed left. Headed upfield. McLemore outside the 30. Penalty marker down. It's going to be face mask, I'm pretty sure. Otis Wansley was the man who made the hit. Yeah, it looked like a fit. Yeah, it is. Otis Wansley is the guy who comes in and blocks for Riggins on short yardage and goal lines, but he's, a, he's also a big special teams player. But watch this one. His left hand, oh man, that, that takes a head and a neck and turns out that's going to be a 15 yarder, I think. Personal foul, deliberate face mask, number 39, first down. It was a 15, now, deliberate foul. I don't like that word deliberate. I mean, then then you, you put yourself as a mind reader. How do you know something's deliberate? I mean, the guy's playing maybe 15 yards for how serious it is, but how do you know deliberate? Can they tell? What are they? Degrees in this stuff or what? Degrees in face mask. Montana outside Wilson. Can't get away. That's uh, a big. Liebenstein made the stop. Excuse me. It's a big break for the 49ers, though. Good field position. Daryl Green got up there pretty quickly. Didn't he? This guy's all over the field. Watch him. He's out here, man to man. He's looking in there. Sees Wilson get the ball. He's watching the ball. He's watching Wilson comes up and just makes that tackle again. This guy's all over the field. I mean, he's he's an amazing guy. He really is, this little guy. He said, I said, are you still a rookie? He says, I love being a rookie. It's like being a little kid. You know, when you do something wrong, you can say, well, I'm young and I'm little. He can say, if I do something wrong, he can say, heck, I'm a rookie. He stopped that one for a yard loss. Again, confusion as far as the 49ers are concerned, and they have to use one of their timeouts. Remember that hurt him in the first half. Montana get down. He's Ransom. Ransom cuts up field. Gets into Redskin territory. To their 45. That one I have not seen. You were saying earlier that the 49ers have 117 passes in this game plan. It looks like they're using all of them. That was Montana to Ring to Montana to Ransom. Look at that chart. He has both sides of that thing filled up today. Look at those plays. You see, he has them all for, you know, like regular plays, long yardage, short yardage, goal line, every situation. Here's 
Here's Montana back to throw on third down. Knocked away by Daryl Green, intended for Solomon. Green is everywhere. And Montana saying, where'd that little guy come from? I'll tell you, in the last two games, this guy has been dominating. This Daryl Green has been dominating from a defensive back position. See, he followed Freddie Solomon in motion. What? Solomon stopped. He stopped and reached back with his right hand. I, thought, I hate to go overboard on anyone, but doggone it, he's, he's worthy of going overboard on. He has been the last two weeks. This guy plays the way the game is supposed to be played. Yeah, Quinto is back. Oros to kick to the 49er. Aiming for the corner. Yeah, Quinto lets it bounce, and it goes into the end zone, and the Redskins will bring it back start to operate from their own 20. Flag is down, however. It's going to be against the 49ers. I'd be surprised if the Redskins take this penalty. I think the ball going in the end zone, they got a lucky break on that, and they ought to keep it. The illegal man downfield on the kick, number 63, kicking team, penalty declined, first down. Coming up next week on CBS Sports Saturday, lightweight boxing, Robin Blake against Harry Arroyo, and World Cup skiing. It's at 4 o'clock Eastern Time. And on Sports Sunday, lightweight boxing again. Howard Davis, Tyrone Crawley, World Cup skiing, Olympic figure skating. Riggins on the counterplay. Breaks the tackle. Riggins barrels for a redskin, close to a redskin first down before it's White Hicks who takes him down. You know, the thing is, I think you have to, you know, we know how big and strong John Riggins is, but the other thing, he, he has very, very quick feet. Let's watch that play again. We'll just watch it here from the end zone. Now, it's that counter play again. The guard and the tackle pull, a little counter step, but watch, watch the movement of his feet here. Watch, he dips him in, he stops, he, he cuts to the right, he, he oversteps, back to the inside, feet moving all the time. I mean, he's big and strong, but he has great, great feet. Heisman fakes to Riggin. Now he looks deep. He has Charlie Brown. And Brown turns on the afterburner. Brown, touchdown. touchdown again here again the fake to Riggins a little pump by Montana he finds Charlie Brown right here leads him out perfectly on a linebacker here comes Ronnie Lott Charlie Brown turns on those afterburners and he's in the end zone touchdown Charlie Brown downtown Charlie Brown Eisman will hold Mosley up the middle Redskins 21. 49ers nothing. Here is Hale to the Redskins.
Cubs this year. That goes all the way back to 1937. The penalty will be, as you were saying, the penalty after the extra point infraction will enable Jeff Hayes to kick off from the 40 instead of the 35. McLemore and Monroe back deep for San Francisco. 102 left third quarter. Redskins 21. San Francisco nothing. Hayes goes to McLemore. He handles at the five. McLemore cut down at the 21. Alvin Garrett. Down to make the tackle and his performance on special teams is typical of this Redskin team. Let's watch one other aspect of that touchdown play. Here's Lawrence Pillars. He's going against Jacoby and Pritt. Watch him slug it out. This heck, Charlie Brown's running for touchdowns. These guys are still going to quit, quit, take this, take that. I got it, you got it. And then they look and say, Charlie Brown just scored a touchdown. We got to go back down to the other end. Let's pick this up later on. That's Wendell Tyler in motion, and Montana goes back to throw. Underthrows Freddie Solomon. Anthony Washington was the defender. Solomon couldn't quite come back for it. But the ball was underthrown. Well, the Redskins are a very opportunistic team. You know, I mean, they get those turnovers, and then when they get them, they go down and score. Remember the last series, the 49ers dropped a pass, then Freddie Solomon fumbled the ball, and the Redskins take a boom, boom, boom touchdown. They have a way of getting it done. to the left. Montana gets it to Skeets who steps out of bounds. Gets the first down. Anthony Washington the defender. You know when Skeets Nehemiah has been there everyone is so worried about his speed. Now watch Anthony Washington. He's 24. He's covering here. Now look he's going deep. He's saying he's going deep. I got him. Oh he didn't go deep. He ran an out pattern. Look at he's beat him by five yards. Now when you see a guy like Nehemiah you're so worried he's going to go deep that you run deep even when he doesn't. Sort of a homecoming for him. 49ers worked out at University of Maryland. Nehemiah again. Montana gets it to him again. Out of bounds. First down. 37 seconds left to play in the third quarter. 19-yard game. 49ers may have found something here. Nehemiah on the outs. Let's watch Dave Butts here. After the play, he thought he was held by Randy Cross. Let's see if he is. Yep, he is. Look who's that right hand on his jersey. He, he was arguing. He was saying, the guy held me. Tore his numbers off almost. Turn near ripped the five off. First down for San Francisco. To Russ Francis. Ken Coffey, the defender, and Francis has another 49er first down. They stopped the clock with 20. Now the clock is running. They say Francis didn't get out of bounds. Francis slow to get up, and so is Coffee. Been a hard day for him. This is the deepest San Francisco has been in Washington territory. Here's the end of the play. Well, there's Ken Coffee on Russ Francis. We see Francis catch the ball. Looks like Coffee may have pulled something when he, just before he went down. He got a cramp. When you do that, it's probably a cramp. Don't forget, and I'm sure you won't, two weeks from today, Super Bowl Sunday. It begins with the Super Bowl today. The 49ers or Washington against the Los Angeles Raiders or the Seattle Seahawks. 2.30 Eastern time is when the Super Bowl today begins. Russ Grimm yesterday when we were talking to him, the, the guard of the Redskins, and we were talking about weight. He says, man, he said last year in the Super Bowl, he said, I was, oh, 295, 300. He said, this year it's a little warmer in Tampa. He said, I'll be about 10 pounds lighter. He didn't even think, you know, that, well, if we win and we go, and he says, yeah, I was playing up there about 300 last year. He said, a lot of it's fluid, though. You know, he said, I'll be about 10 pounds lighter down there in Tampa. <laughs> That's confidence. That is. Curtis Jordan has taken a place. 
of coffee. Here's Montana back to throw and fires for the end zone for Solomon and overthrows him. Anthony Washington was the defender. So that's the end of the third quarter with the score Washington 21, San Francisco 21. San Francisco nothing. Super Bowl with the next. 49ers. At the Redskin 26. Second down 10. for the 49ers. The reverse back to Montana. They had a lot of plays in the book, didn't they? That's right. That's a flea flicker off a reverse. Watch this. Tyler back on the reverse. Back to Montana. Ransom is coming. See him down there in the corner. He's running a corner pattern. That's a heck of a pass because he was really double. He was double covered short and deep and Montana got it right in that slot to Easton Ransom. down and goal for San Francisco. Solomon was the man in motion. Montana is going to roll right. Looking for some place to go. Can't find it and rolls out of bounds. At the five, lost a couple. Almost ran into Irv Cross. Irv was probably covering him. He's an old defensive back. You see, his, you know, the quarterback rolls. I cover. <laughs> Irv, he's down there covering some guys. Irv was about ready to force. <laughs> the 49ers have to get this in here. I think what happened on that play, I think that some receiver didn't get out. It looked like he didn't have anyone out there to throw to, so he just took it out of bounds. So it'll be second down and goal from the five now. Solomon goes in motion again. Montana. Outside Craig. Darryl Green had a beat on it. Craig. Bill Walsh is looking there at that list. I would think he should come up with some play that's away from Daryl Green. I would say I've given that guy enough chances today. Let's see if we got something here away from Daryl Green. He's just putting in Mike Wilson there. This is where you like to throw to a tight end because you get that big target like a, you know, Russ Francis. He's six foot six. That type of thing, or even an Eason Ransom. You know. Of course, Montana is very mobile. He's capable of running again himself. Wilson got the touchdown for San Francisco. Anthony Washington was the Redskin defender, but Montana got him in. That's a big play for the 49ers. We saw Bill Walsh. He, he called Wilson's number, and he sent him in with a play. We saw him right there go in. He said, go in there, line up tight. He lines up as a tight end on the left side. Montana comes back. Wilson just runs it out. Montana hits him right there. That's a pretty good move there by Wilson. Excellent. Worship hits the extra point. And the 49ers finally are on the board. 79 yards they went. And it's 21-7 with 14-37 left to play. Okay, now here's Mike Wilson right here. They usually line him up wide. He's lining up tight. He's just going to come up and run it out right here. And you watch what happens. You see, you see the corner is looking into the backfield. Here comes Wilson. He starts in, stops, and then slides right down the line of scrimmage. See, he started like he was going to run an in or a hook. He just stopped and slid back. That's yeah. all John Madden, RFK Stadium. Redskins 21. 49ers, seven, but plenty of time remaining. They working set to kick off. Alvin Garrett right deep. High kick. Puts Garrett on his own four. Drops it. Can't find a handle. Now picks it up. It's cut down at the 13-yard line by Carl Monroe. The Redskins operate deep from their own territory. San Francisco has already thrown 41 times, 14 running plays. Redskins a little bit more balanced. Richie Pettibone, who runs the Redskin defense, said earlier in the week that he felt that San Francisco, Montana, would possibly throw between 50 and 60 times, and he might be a prophet, as well as a good defensive coach. 
Riggins the lone setback. That's Brown in motion. Eichmann on first down. Chase out of the pocket. Picks. Keeps going. Eisman hit at about the 18. Picked up about six. Eric Wright cut him down. He was trying to throw out here to the right to uh, Art Monk. Good coverage by Ronnie Lott. Now watch Fred Dean on the rush here. He almost gets him. Here we see Russ Grimm come out. See, he just throws that left arm, plays off for Grimm, and he's coming, he's zeroing right in here on Montana on uh, on Theisman. Didn't almost get him. Man. Theisman's out of there. All the hogs and stuff were left there, and Theisman was That's out on the left gone. side. He got six, so make it second and four. He gives to Riggin. Riggin bangs outside the 25 for a Redskin first down. In addition to all of his other attributes, Riggins does not fumble. Nina Turner on the stop. Riggins has carried 24 times and picked up 89 yards, two touchdowns. The other one was 70 yards from Theismann to Charlie Brown. 21-7. 49er defense has got to get the ball back for their offensive unit. On the counter, it's Riggins again and caught from behind. Fred Dean and Jim Stuckey from the offside. You know, Fred Dean usually comes in and plays the passing downs. Here now, they want another defensive lineman in there and some quickness. You see, he's able to take on a block. He takes on Don Warren there, just throws him to the side, comes right down the line of scrimmage, chases that thing down. You know, Fred Dean, you always think of him as a pass rusher, as a leading pass rusher in the NFC, but the, he plays the run pretty tough, too. Not that big, but very strong. Very strong hands and arms. Heisman's going to go to work. Bounces it out to Charlie Brown, incomplete. It'll be third down. Eric Wright was the San Francisco defender. Clock stops with 12.29 left to play. That was just a bad throw there by Joe Theismann. He just he just got it about halfway there and bounced it in. My old quarterback, Kenny Stabler, when he'd throw those guys, he'd say, low ball thrower, high ball drinker. <laughs> Tee it up, do it again. That's what he used to say. Theismann might say that. Nah, nah. No? No. Nope. Washington and Giaquinto in the Redskin backfield. 49ers have a blitz going. Heisman is down. Fumble. Redskins got it back. Wayne Board put the heat on Joe, Th Joe Theismann. I'll tell you, Board really did put the heat on him. He took an inside move and he came right in there. He really had Theismann zeroed in. Red Dean and the 49er defense have done their work. And Jeff Hayes is back to kick. He'll be punting from his own eight-yard line. Dana McLemore. Dangerous return man standing at the 49er 40. Ah, good kick by Hayes. McLemore at the 35. Spins away from one red skin. Gets nothing and a fumble. Redskins think they have it. They do have it. Otis Swansley and Greg Williams down quickly. Right here, when they have a 14-point lead and they get you down here, 
This is where they give you a big, big dose of Riggins. He's been busy. Picked up 93 yards. He has five consecutive playoff games in which he has gained over 100. You know on short yardage he's going to get it. You know on goal line he's going to get it. And this is the other time he usually gets it. That's what he's done so far, and that's what he has done today. Here's Riggins. Bangs down to about the 26. Picked up a few. Fred Dean made the stop. Bill Gibbs in the middle. With a clipboard. Riggins walks off, and Washington comes in. Joe Washington. Nick Giaquinto joins him. You see, when you get third down and more than two yards, they don't consider that a short yardage. This is third and about four, so this is a passing down for the Redskins. And the 49ers feel that's true. They put in their pass defense unit, which, of course, includes Fred Dean. They surprise him. Washington runs and is hammered out of bounds by the 49ers. Don't believe he got the first down. This is going to be an interesting decision for Joe Gibbs here. Championship game, fourth down. He's talking about less than a yard. I know he doesn't want to do it. He doesn't want to. He's he, not going to. He has put Mosley in. Mosley has missed three times already. You know, he went for it in that Dallas game. I think he's been kicking himself ever since. And it's a tough thing. You get so emotional in this game. You want to, you know, and the fans yell, go, 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 and you want to. The easiest thing to do is to go for it. The toughest thing is to say, no, let's kick the field goal. It's from 41 yards out. Mosley this time is going to be no good. Over four. Short. He has missed from 45, 34, 38, and 41. Long day for Mark Mosley. Straight enough, but it didn't get there. Solomon from Montana. And the 49ers are right back in it from 76 yards out. It was Solomon. You know, and that's what Bill Walsh was talking about. He saw that <clears throat> missed field goal. He says, we got him. Let's go for it right now, guys. He said, Freddie, just go in there, get in there tight, run a post. Let's see if we can get something on Daryl Green. He's been on us all day. Freddie Solomon beats Daryl Green and gets a touchdown. He told us last night, he said, I'm going to go for it. We're going for big ones and deep ones, and we're going to get some of them. And Montana to Solomon got him right back in the game. Hershey's big extra point is good, and it's 21-14. And those missed field goals are starting to loom big. Watch Freddie Solomon. He's a wing back there. He's tight to the tight end. He starts in. Little move there. Now he's just going right by Daryl Green. He got about two steps on him. A perfect pass. Right up over the shoulder. Right in there. Touchdown for the 49ers. That was a heck of a throw by Montana. Heck of a catch by Freddie Solomon. Right over the head. A difficult catch. Solomon. Said he was going to try to... He goes deep. Freddie Solomon is here. He runs a post. But watch Mark Murphy. He's the free safety. He comes all the way over to help on Nehemiah, and that's why Solomon gets the post. Watch it here. Solomon is the inside guy of the two. Murphy comes over, ignores Solomon, because he's looking deep here for Nehemiah. So when Solomon gets by Daryl Green, the whole field is open to him one thing that Ronaldo Nehemiah gives you when he's in there everyone's saying watch out he's gonna do good watch Nehemiah watch Nehemiah and then they sneak Solomon into the post he's such a threat and everyone's watching Nehemiah deep here's Ronaldo number 83 Wershing's kickoff is fielded by Alvin Garrett at his own six there it is 
get hammered by the 49er coverage team. They are elated about this turn of events. Bobby Leopold is the man down to make the hit. Montana to Solomon has turned it back into a game. 9.39 left to play. Plenty of time. I'll tell you, the 49ers are fired up now, and that goes. It goes, you know, you miss a field goal, your offense comes in there and pops them, and now you get your special team. Look, they're wild guys coming down there. That was Leopold, Bobby Leopold, making that tackle. First down, Redskins, their own 23. Plenty of time left. 49ers down to one with a four-man front. Big to Riggins, and Heisman rolls out, chase, and sacked by Green Board. That's the third sack of Theismann by the 49ers, and Board got that one. I think it's the same type of thing with a guy like Board as Nehemiah. You know what happens? They put in Fred Dean. Everyone's thinking about Fred Dean. Board takes an inside move. You see him 76? Inside move on Jacoby. Just keeps going and just turns right up the field on Theismann. comes off the field out of the Washington lineup and Washington goes in. You know that last play was one of I think Fred Dean got hurt on that play Pat. Yeah he's he going did. off the field there. Let's see if we could see what happened. Looked like it might be a knee. Well he was the outside guy and it looked like he started on a pass rush. You see him 74 and for some reason he just pulls up here. You see and then he starts later. Uh, I don't know if he just got a twist in there or what around and he grabs his grabs his left calf. I think I think that was something that he just got from pushing off on the ground. I think it's a cramp or it could be an Achilles injury. Second down Redskins and 20 from their own 13. Nice went back to throw. Nice slips. Now slips away. Pass is knocked away by Ronnie Lott at the last second. Intended for Didier. I'll tell you, Ronnie Lott is the best at there is in football at that. Arriving the same time as a ball and knocking it out. A couple of years ago, he was fantastic at that. Watch him on Didier here. You see, he sees the ball. Now watch. The ball gets there. Lott gets there at the same time. And whack, the ball just goes to the ground. That's about the way it has to be played. I was just saying, 1981, when he was a rookie, this secondary did that better than any team in the National Football League, knocking that ball out of there. Third down for the Redskins from their own 13. They need 20 for a first. Heisman back to throw. Going for a bunch. Intended for Monk. Incomplete. No flag. Redskins are screaming pass interference, but no flag is thrown. The defender. Art Monk is still down there complaining to the officials. Now Tim Collier is on Art Monk. See, he'll be right in there. You see him coming into the screen right there? I think he did get his left hand in there. That was pass interference. But no flag is thrown, and Jeff Hayes stands back deep. Yep, I think the Redskins have reason to complain on that one. Lamore standing at midfield. Hey. Good kick. Good high kick. Chases Lamore back to his own 40. Looking for some place to go and not finding it. Greg Williams was the first Redskin down to take him down. A 47-yard punt. Good field position for the 49ers. Let's watch it one more time. Tim Cotty, see the left arm in there? That was pass interference. The ball wasn't hit. The only team other than Dallas to beat the Redskins at home in the last 21 games. Right now, it's 21-14. Redskins. Nehemiah is flipped wide to the left. That was Tyler in motion. Montana back to go to work. As a man wide open down the middle, it's Eason Ramson. And they move into Redskin territory to their 38th. 16-yard pickup and a 49er first down. Okowitz made sure that Ramson stayed down. Second half for the 49ers. How about that one? I think they 
live with the past. Right. Well, if you can find guys like that, wide open like that, and deep like Freddie Solomon, heck, you don't have to run. Just keep throwing it. You're getting good pass protection. Craig with the man in motion. Here's Tyler. Tyler stumbles as he gets through the line. Picks up about four or five. Olkowitz tripped him up. Well, I think the sand, yeah. I, I think the sand in there tripped him up. You know, we talked about the middle of the field being re-turfed and all that sand in there. I think Tyler just slipped on the sand. That's what Reagan says. It's like playing in Long Beach. <laughs> Not quite as warm. On a cold night in Long Beach, playing like volleyball or something. At the 34-yard line, it's second and seven. Solomon in motion. Now he goes back in the other direction. Again, they throw. And again, Wilson is open. He gets down inside the 15-yard line, out of bounds at the 13. Anthony Washington, the coverer. I'll tell you, Joe Montana's found the range now. His receivers are starting to get open. He's reading. But I'll tell you the other big thing, pass protection. This 49er offensive line is doing a heck of a job. Watch at the time Montana has. See, they're, they're keeping these big, those two big tackles pinned on the line. Watch them right here. Butts and Grant. You see him? Airs there, cross there. Just fight. Just, oh, that's a real hog contest. Keeping those guys away from Montana. Montana looking to end zone. Looking for Wilson. Touchdown. Touchdown. Anthony Washington again, the defender, but Montana is right on the money. I'll tell you, he is on the money. This is a fantastic thing, what they're doing here. Bill Walsh had a game plan. Looked like in the first half, things didn't go. And now, he, he knows what he wants. He got them zeroed in, and they're getting guys wide open on every pass play. That, Plus, still good pass protection. Mark Mosley, very dejected over on the sideline. He's missed four field goals. Montana has just bro broken a championship game record by throwing 45 passes. That was his 45th. Wershing's extra point is good, and we have a tie. I'll tell you, Mike Wilson has been a big part of this game. Let's watch a touchdown here again. Good pass protection. Montana has time. He looks, he finds him. Wilson fronts a corner pattern right here on Anthony Washington. Beats him by three or four steps. Woo! Him. He's out here now. He's going to give him a good inside move. See, into the right. See there? There. He holds him there, and then boom, he comes back out to the outside. That's a good move there by Mike Wilson. Excellent. That's two good moves he's made. Anthony Wilson said, I got him. Reds against 20. San Francisco, 21-21 with the Reds again. Plenty of time. 7-0-8 left to play. And you remember, this is true sudden death now. It's not one of those deals where you only play a quarter. This game will be played and go on until someone wins. Some comeback by the 49ers. They were down 21 to nothing. This is what it's all about. You know, they've been, you know, neither one of these teams have lost a, uh, neither one of these coaches have ever lost a playoff game. Quarterbacks haven't either. Wilson fell down. Kickoff is fielded by Garrett at the 10. The reverse coming. Monty Coleman. A linebacker who can really run. Flags are down everywhere. <laughs> Coleman is still on his feet and is finally taken down by Homo. That's going to be against the Redskins. It's one of those illegal blocks from behind or clip. I saw that. It happened about the 25-yard line. But these teams and these coaches are pulling out all stops. Yeah, legal block from behind above the waist. There's a 49er player down on the far side of the field, and I think it's Wershing who was in on the tackle. Well, he also slipped on the kickoff. He fell down when he kicked that ball. That's Wershing who is face down. Number 58 on the run back. First down. See what happened to Wershing. Well, here it is, first of all, starting on the kick. You see, it, I, again, that plant foot, that left leg, as he went to kick the ball, that thing just slipped out from under him. 
then he's still down on the sideline. I don't know if he got hurt on the tackle or if it was that slip on the kick. I think he got hurt on the tackle. And as I look at uh, our depth chart, John, I don't see that the 49ers have anybody else listed as a place kicker. Wershing still there. Well, usually those punters that are specialists usually do take some of their time and work a little at it, so I would imagine that would happen. In that case, it would be Oros. Let's see if we can find out what happened to Wershing. There he is, number 14. Well, here, here he is, right there at the top of the picture, number 14. He's coming in here. Now, Greg Williams is going to come in from the left. There's Williams right there. Now, watch. He puts a hit right there on Wershing and puts him right down on the back. That's where he got it. He got the slip on the kickoff, but it was a hit by Greg Williams on him right there. Because he's still in that same position. That was some hit. And kickers, for the most part, are not used to getting hit. Certainly not like that. That was something. I think the shock of that slip on the on the kickoff was something, and then and then they hit right there. Like he's trying to shake the cobwebs out. See him give that head a shake. Next time he might look up. Joe Montana, by the way, in the first half was nine of 21 for just 68 yards. In the second half, 18 out of 24 for 279 yards and three touchdowns. You know that old cliche about momentum. I don't know if it's an old cliche, but there's something to it right here. We talk about a change. It has changed. Here's Riggins around the corner. John Riggins. The Redskins first down that'll put him over 100 yards. Light picks made the stop as Riggins gets around the corner. Riggins usually takes that counter play to the inside. This time he took it outside. Watch it here. Here comes Russ Grimm. Here comes Joe Jacoby. Good block right there. You see what Grimm did? He came out instead of kicking his man out, he logged him or blocked him in, and then Riggins was able to get to the outside. Riggins, 28 carries, 114 yards, checking things out. Riggins again. This time, he stays on his feet for about five. Tina Turner came from the offside to cut him down. I'll tell you one thing, the longer the game goes, the stronger that guy gets. Not this guy. I'm, I'm not talking about the kicker. I'm talking about Riggins. Riggins comes out now. Washington comes in. Joe Washington. Second and five. Redskins have it their own 36. Riggins 119 yards. Checking out the atmosphere. Looks like he either has something in his eye or contact lens. Here's Dyson outside the Didier. Didier has a Redskin first down. Carlton Williamson up, up to make the stop. Here's Riggins. Isn't it something, you know, you play the whole season. You play a playoff game, you get to a championship game, and it all boils down to the last five minutes. All boils down to right now, your whole season. The winner, he's in the Super Bowl in two weeks. Loser, you wait for training camp. Wait for next July, and that's when it all began, last July. First and 10 Redskins, their own 42. Clock running, 4.56 left to play. Heisman gets to Washington. Washington. Over the right side for about three. Gets to the 45. I tell you, those bodies are flying here. Did you see Ronnie Lott come flying in from that left corner? As a matter of fact, he's still down. But he was out here at the left corner back. Washington said he just threw his body in there. He just comes flying in. Let's watch him here at the bottom of the picture. Here comes the run. Watch Lott just take off. <laughs> They're hitting out there now. Oh, boy. They have been all day, but now the intensity seems to have picked up. It's Riggins stopped at the line of scrimmage. It'll be third and long. Pete Kugler, first man there. Oh, what a day. What a game he's played. Well, you know, the 49ers, as we see it here, they're using a four-man line. That's different. They've been a three-man line team, but they've done a heck of a job. Kugler has done a good job in that middle. Pillars, again, is in there. You know, strong not giving them any cutback places. They've just got a whole bunch of guys on Riggins. That, that's the way you have to play. Clock is running. Riggins is out. Washington is in. Third and eight. Redskins will have to
to throw, and they do have to throw. And Heisman throws. Pass is caught by Art Monk, and it's complete. 11 yards and a first down Redskins. Three and a half minutes left to play as Heisman drives him. I'll tell you, that was a heck of a throw and a heck of a catch. This is Tim Collier here covering on Art Monk. It's going to be an out pattern, so he starts up. Now, the only place to throw it is down low and back. Monk went down. Boom, he got it right in there. That was some throw by Theismann. That ball was a close line. It didn't stay in the air very long. And it had to be. 14 out of 26 for Theismann. They're in 49er territory. At the 45. And now less than three minutes left to play. And Riggins gets the call, and the carry and is hit behind the line of scrimmage. Lawrence Pillars stops Riggins. I'll tell you one thing, I think that the 49ers are, are surprising the Redskins a little with this four-man line. And they're not getting those big holes or soft spots inside the way they did last week against the Rams. The word on Fred Dean, by the way, we got from Irv Cross, who was over in the neighborhood of the 49er bench, was that he had a cramp and possibly could be back. Second down and 10. Heisman looks right, now looks left, goes deep. Incomplete. Flag is down. Penalty marker down. Art Punk back with Eric Wright. Not much doubt about that one. The Walsh is saying we didn't need that. Whew. The toughest penalty in the National Football League is pass interference. That's the longest one. Now watch Eric Wright. He's number 21 going against Art Monk. The ball's in the air. You can't touch him. It's tough to see. It looked like he was pushing with that left hand on him. 27 yards on the penalty. Let's watch his left arm. You see the left arm on him right there? See him push there? That's, that's pretty close. Yep. First down, Redskins. They give to Riggins. Riggins trying to get around the corner. Popped out of bounds by Dwayne Ford. Stops the clock with 2.08 remaining. Certainly they're in field goal range, but it's been a horrible day for Mosley. Let's see if we can see that interference call again and see if we can see the left arm there because the right arm's okay, so it'd have to be that left arm or hand with a push in there. Because that wasn't it right there at the end. That's okay at the end. Second. And six from the 14. This is Riggins. Up the middle. Down to about the 11. Tina Turner ran him down from the offside, and there are two minutes remaining. And we'll get that two minute notification right now. Mosley thinking right now. He is hoping first down. So he doesn't have to go back and try it again. She can tie it up at 21. With two minutes left to play. Third and five at the 13 for Washington. I think the key here is if Riggins is in, it'll probably be a run. If he's not, it'll probably be a pass. He's not. He is not. It's Washington. Mosley over on the sideline. This has been back and quickly he goes in the corner. Knocked away at the last second intended for Alvin Garrett. Knocked away by Collier. I, I flag, see a flag down. Flags down. Going to be against the 49ers. Holding number 42 defense. Automatic first down. Automatic first down. Ronnie Locke. on Charlie Brown. Let's see if we can see it right here. Here's Charlie Brown, 87. Ronnie Lott, 42. He can chuck him the first five yards. That's okay. Left to, oh, see, he called it right there. You see Lott look over there? He knew right away when he had that left hand up there that he was calling for holding. Boy, these, these officials are getting pretty tight here in this fourth quarter. I'll say. Heisman asking for quiet. It's first and goal, Redskins at the eight. Monk and Brown both get back to the left. They give to Riggins. Riggins 
swarmed on right at the line of scrimmage. White, Hicks, and Ronnie Lott. He gets very little. Lock is running. A minute 40 left to play. Mosley on the sideline. Redskins would like to eat up as much as they can of this clock. Or at least force the 49ers to call timeout. They only have two left. I'll tell you, there, there were a couple big plays. One was that pass interference on Monk by Eric Wright that got him down there. And then that run on, on Ronnie Lott holding that gave him a first down down here. Balls at the eight. They get again to Riggin. And he can't go anywhere again. And the 49ers are going to have to use some of their timeouts. I would think that they should start now because whether or not the Redskins score it, they still need time after that. Whether they score a field goal or a touchdown, they ought to be taking timeouts. Could be. The Redskins are going to take as much time as they can in the huddle. They finally do. I can't believe that. I can't believe they left that much time go off the clock. I can't either. Heisman comes over to the sideline. They've got Mosley right in front of the goalpost. But his mental state at the moment would not be too good after being 0 for 4 already. San Francisco 21, Washington 21. Maybe Bill Walsh does have a hex on kickers. 54 seconds left to play. 49ers down to one time out. And I think the key again here, Pat, is if Riggins is in there, the Redskins are going to run it. If Joe Washington's in, I'd say they're going to pass it. They're talking about that right now. There's John Riggins. I guess he's not in there. So I bet they're talking about a pass. What Russ Grimm is doing in that huddle with those guys, I have no idea. What's the left guard doing in Quarterbacks and all those offense. Let's look at risk. <laughs> look at Russ Grimm. <laughs> he wants to find out what it's like over there, maybe. Again, I've never seen a guard come over in a huddle. Ricketts carries one more time. It'll match his own championship game record of 36 last year against Dallas. Ricketts is in the game now behind Theismann. The give is to Rick. Nothing to it. He is down and down at about the nine. Now, Wayne Board left the 49er defense, and we will have to see Mosley. Oh, for four today. The net goes up behind the goalpost, and everybody's going to be on their feet in just a second. 21 21 tie. 49ers now out of timeouts. They stop the clock with 44 seconds remaining. Mosley is out with Theismann to hold and Bostic the snapper. And of course, the 49ers didn't take that timeout to let Mosley think about it. They had to take the timeout to buy themselves some time for when they get the ball. And the way they've had guys open, you know, they may have something over there that they can hit a Solomon or a Wilson or a someone deep. With 44 seconds to go, Mosley is out with Theismann holding. Today's misses have been for Mosley from 45, 34, 38, 41. This one will come from 25 yards out. And believe me, I've said many times, there is no such thing as a chip shot. That's one of those things that's easy to say. You know, forget about it. Just get this one. That's easy to say, but sometimes it's hard to do, isn't it, to forget about it? It sure is. Especially after you've had a day like he had. This one is good. Redskins, 24. 49ers, 21. Let's watch the second of the two. Now, Ronnie Lott can chug in there. He can chug in that area, that five yards. I don't know. That's awfully close to be calling that a hole. He was looking.
striking out. His left arm went outside there. That's a very tight call. Here's the first one earlier. Now watch Eric's right's left hand. He pushes Art Monk right at the end there, and that's that's the pass interference. So those two penalties were the biggest part of that drive for the Redskins. Jack Kent Cook, chairman of the board of the Redskins, up and happy at the moment. Washington 24, San Francisco 21. Jeff Hayes will kick off. McLemore and Monroe back deep. Here's Hayes kick. Good high kick. It'll be McLemore at the five. He runs out of bounds at about the 18. Larry Coobin was over there to make sure that he went out of bounds. That took four seconds. 36 seconds left to play. No timeouts left for the 49ers. Now this is a, a tough deal now for the Redskins because if you get in a prevent, which they probably will, you can't give too big a cushion because all he has to do is complete about three and he's in field goal range. But you don't know about the condition of Worshing now. You remember that he was hurt on the kickoff return earlier by Alvin Gow by Monty Coleman after the handoff from Garrett. Nehemiah over on the left side. On with Solomon. Montana scramble. Gets enough for a first down to the 35, but it burns time off that clock, and the clock runs. The 49ers hustle up. Montana, quick snap. Batted away at the last second by Darrell Green, and that stops the clock with 14 seconds left to play, intended for Mike Wilson. Washington leading by three points. Well, the 49ers have a different type of formation. They usually have three receivers out here, Earl Cooper, Freddie Solomon, and Ronaldo Nehemiah, all out here together. Then they were bringing Wilson from the other side. Cooper's going out now, so they won't have that same formation. 14 seconds left to play. Again, Ramson, Solomon, and Nehemiah all come to the left. Montana goes back to throw. Looking right and throwing right. The pass almost picked off, but a penalty marker is down. A flag is down, almost picked off by Coffey. Flag down right at midfield. Eight seconds. And that's left in that top. area where there's some type of interference. No foul. The pass could not be caught. No foul. Jerry Martin tried to say the pass could not be caught. Well, that's another one I don't agree with. How do you know it can't be caught if the guy fouled? Now, had he not been fouled, he may have gotten in position to catch it. Eight seconds left on the clock. Washington 24, San Francisco 21. Montana. Going for the bundle. Intercepted by Vernon Dean, and the Redskins will go to the Super Bowl. All the way to Tampa Bay. The whole stadium is shaking. A gallant effort by the 49ers. But the Redskins go to Tampa Bay. The second year in a row, the NFC champion. They are indeed Tampa Bound. Super Bowl champions go back again. Mark Mosley, after a frustrating day, wins it with a 25-yard field goal. Richie Pettibone, defensive coordinator, Joe Jacoby. Geisman and Mosley in an embrace. 
time. Let's take a look at the final play. Montana trying for the alley oop. I'll tell you one thing, Joe Montana had a heck of a second half. That 49er offensive line did a great job of protecting him, and, and they really made a battle out of these guys. I mean, they were in the Super Bowl two years ago, the Redskins last year. But Joe last me here, he says, hey, we won it. We're in the Super Bowl again. But I'll tell you, the 49ers should be proud of their effort today. They really should be. winning drive for Washington they not only got the points they occupied and monopolized the clock here's the first controversial play this was pass interference on Eric Wright against Art Munt and it had to be right there that left hand pushing Munt right there in the middle and that was the big one that got him down there then on a third down play here it is third down if they stop him now one they may still kick the field goal but if they don't they're going to have more time than they have holding on Ronnie Lott. That's awfully picky to me. That followed. Eisman and Joe Gibbs. Mosley hit that field goal to provide the winning margin. 